beautiful light fluffy gnocchi with homemade tomato sauce done the Slovenian way. Tomatoes, tomato paste, half an onion, egg, tomatoes, three cloves of garlic, flour, wine, good, and your spices. To boiling water, add one teaspoon of salt and two small potatoes or one large potato. Cover and simmer until done. In the frying pan, add a little bit of olive oil. Add the onions. Now add the chopped garlic. Add your whole tomatoes and mash them up. So we add the mashed whole tomatoes. Two teaspoons of tomato paste. One tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon of basil, one tablespoon of oregano, pepper, the granola, one teaspoon of salt. If you use salted tomatoes, don't add the salt. You can taste it later. I used unsalted tomatoes, so I will put my salt in there. One teaspoon of sugar, half a cup of water, half a glass of good Italian wine. Stir it up and simmer for one hour. I peel the potato and I'm going to mash it up. Add one egg. Add half a teaspoon of salt. If you have a ricer, use a ricer. I don't have a ricer, so I'm using my electric mixer. Or you can take a fork and you can make sure there's absolutely no clumps in that. So add a quarter of a cup of flour. This is where you're going to have to get your hands dirty. Flour your hands and then put the stuff. It resembles a mess, but it's really not. It all comes together. You have to kind of use your hands and gather it. It just matter, make sure you get the consistency in there and the flour in there. Give it a little knit. And then it's already starting to form. Here it is. I have my roll. I'm going to just roll it a bit more. So divide your dough into half. So now we're going to just take the first half and we're going to roll it. But like a big, thick, thin piece of spaghetti. You want it nice and long and thin. So you end up this big, thin piece of spaghetti-like. Now what you want to do is you want to chop off little bite-sized pieces. Just little pieces like that. Really lightly, make sure you use a nice sharp knife. The big difference between Italian and Slovenian pierogi, the Italian, Italian pierogi, you take a fork and you make little indents in it. We don't, we just like little pillows, so we just leave them as they are. In water to a boil and add one teaspoon of salt. And just gather your pierogies with your hands on a little spatula and drop them in the water. So after about two minutes, the pierogies are ready. You can now to serve some light tomato sauce. Pierogies, make sure they're drained well. Put them on there, give them a little swirl. And then serve it with a little bit of fresh basil. Give them a little sprinkle of Parmesan. Mm. They're so light, melt in your mouth, fluffy, and delicious.